Hello everyone, welcome to creating a microservice based web application with ExpressJS and MongoDB by Eduanix. My name is Victor Lima and I will be your teacher in this video series. In this project, we will develop a library application based on microservices architecture. Basically, in this application, we're going to have three services. A book service, which will work with all stuff related to, to books. A customer's service, which will work with all our customer's data. And finally, an order service, which will join the another two services of our application in one single core. Now, let's take a look at our stack and tools. In this project, we're going to use Node.js, Express.js as our framework, MongoDB as our database, Mongoose, and finally, MLab to host our data. To follow along with this tutorial, you need to have a good knowledge on Node.js and Express.js, and you need to have a basic knowledge on MongoDB as well. Unlike another tutorials on how to create microservices with Node.js, in this one, we will not use Docker, but why? My goal with this video series is to teach you how to create a, a microservice based application with Node.js from scratch without any DevOps configuration, only Node.js. For now, let's forget Docker. So now it's time to set up our project. First, create a folder inside your desktop. I will call it of library and open it with your favorite code editor. In my case is Visual Studio Code. All right, inside this folder, create another three folders. A folder to our book service, another folder to our customers service, and another folder to our orders service. Now it's time to install all the dependencies of our project. So create a file inside the books folder. I will call it of books.js and open up your terminal inside this folder. In this case, inside this, uh, inside the, the books folder. All right, after that, let's get started with the installation of Express. Pretty simple. After that, the second dependencies that we need is the, the body parser. So to install body parser is pretty simple. npm install dash dash save body parser. Nice. After that, the last dependency is mongoose to communicate with the our MongoDB database. So to install Mongoose is so simple. npm install dash dash save Mongoose. So after the installation of the dependencies, it's time to set up our project with some code. So first open the books.js file and inside here it's time to import all the dependencies inside this file. 
So, let's get started importing Express inside this file. So, to import Express is so easy. Only create a const and require the Express module. After that, let's create an instance of our Express application in this way. So here we load Express. After that, it's time to open an Express server. To do it, only call your app dot listen method and and this method require one parameter which is the port which your application will run in my case will be the port 4545 nice and if you wish you can receive a callback when your server is up. So it's time to testing our base application. To do it is simple, only run your books.js file and that's it, up and running. Now after that it's time to we create our first host in our application. So let's create a get route. This is will be our main route of our books application. It's a simple express route. And here I will call the send method of the response and send the message. This is our main endpoint. All right. So let's test our our application okay no 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 errors so i will open this application in, in my in my browser and i will go to localhost 4545 to test our main route so let's do it and that's it. This is our main endpoint. All right, awesome. So this is our base books application. We can do the same to another services in our application, but not now. To finish our lesson here, we can install another module called no demo. No demo is a module that will reload your application in every file change. So, for instance, if I change this message here, no demo will detect this change and will reload my Express server. So, Nodemo is a really useful tool for Node developers. So, let's install it. To install it is pretty easy. First, call npm install dash g to install Nodemo globally in your 
operational system and here type nodemo all right all right now if you if you if you want to to reload your application in every change only call nodemo and the name of your file in my case is books.js and that's it for instance if i change this 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 message for this is the books service and save this file no demo will restart my server so as you can see is a really useful tool i will reload and that's it that is our new message i hope you enjoy and if you like let me know in the comment sections below and subscribe to the channel